So hi guys, welcome back. We are watching Dr. Stone Season 2, Stone Wars, Episode 4. Um, I just finished watching Promise Neverland, so go check that out. I'm in such a good mood right now. Um, but anyway, so we are on to Dr. Stone, and last week we ended off recruiting somebody from the Tsukata army. Um, she was the guard, she was the one that was looking out and watching, I believe, uh, Taiju and Yuzu. And she ended up being a super fan of Lillian, so it turns out that she ended up being recruited by Senku and now she's going to be helping them out. So what we're going to be going to into is the follow-up of that. So I wonder if we're going to start delving more into like Tsukasa and stuff like that since now that's what we're on. We're on their side and they now have to figure out how to either convert other members of the Tsukasa army or or something. I don't know. Inside mission now. So anyways, without further ado, let's jump into it and let's find out how it'll progress. Mm. <laughs> Nakama acquired. <laughs> But it's flawed. <laughs> I mean, I'm a mega fan, but like, not everyone's a mega fan. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, right. I will never forget him going in there, piranhas and the lions. <laughs> Mm. So they gotta convert him? I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I just realized they really showed him listening in on something. So they're going straight for a right hand man already? Is that what they're gonna do? I'm not sure if that's what they're gonna do, but I feel like that's probably one of their best options and it would just be really successful if that happened. But he probably has really good hearing and if he's heard Lillian, he's also gonna be like, who is this? Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. His eyes, though. Homeboy. <laughs> I love that about you! <laughs> She's punching him, to be honest. Sonar operator on a submarine! <laughs> Why oh, did I think he was like a kid? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. But I do feel like he is a... Uh, I do feel like he's a reasonable person as well. Bro, he's not dead, but what is going on? He doesn't even want to kill him. <laughs> Can we explain why he was holding a bird, though? He doesn't want to kill him. He's not a murderer. He's not trying to kill them. That's very clear. And that already shows us a lot of what his personality is like. They're the enemy clearly right now. And he's, he still doesn't... He could subdue them, but he won't. He's just warning you guys. Interrogate. Okay. Did you just rip out his- Did you wedge him? What? <laughs> oh, white flag. I see. 
<laughs> Wait, I don't think this is what should happen though. What? You got all tied up. Okay, can you guys talk before reaching Tsukasa though, please? Honestly, you seem cool. <laughs> yeah, be careful. <laughs> We're here where? Oh my god, really? They actually brought him? <gasps> This is the world you want, Tsukasa. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've laid eyes on his pretty face, though. Let's not. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Has he ever he's never seen him before? Yeah, yeah, he knows who he is, but he, he's never seen him before. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's Wait, aren't you saying too much? Is he saying too much right now? Wait, isn't he saying way too much? <laughs> oh, he's gonna... <laughs> Ooh, bring your army! Oh, that's exciting! She can't get out of that, aren't those bamboos? <laughs> She's being well taken care of, she doesn't mind. <laughs> wow. Did you make carriages and stuff for that? Y'all about to make a carriage! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, see? Look, that's the wheel. That's the wheel. Mm-hmm. And on, but relax, it's just gonna be like a carriage. Oh, wait, no, he's trying to make an actual... He's making a whole car. <laughs> Wait, he's actually making a car! I thought he was just gonna bring and then they have to pull it, but he's like, no, we making that thing run on its own. <laughs> I just wanna be there and just kick him! <laughs> oh, look at that face! <laughs> For real drive! <laughs> Bro, honestly, this is the best thing that could have ever happened to his life. <laughs> mm. Mm. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, excuse me, what? He wants it, he gets it. Yeah, a steam engine. <laughs> no! Put that tongue away! This bags, hello.
But he hated science in school. He does not care. <laughs> Wait, they would never. Is this to interrogate? <laughs> think the ramen for sure <laughs> would they really kill him if he's not really a threat like that <laughs> no you can't wow it didn't even take five minutes That, what he's saying right now is 100% true. Like, what he's saying right now is 100% true. Humans need restraint. That, I don't care what nobody says or try to say against it. It's so clear that humans, their greed is what's destroying a lot of this planet. A lot of humanity is being destroyed by, the, by greed, by greed. And, and when they say, you know, money is the devil... It, like, really is because it's, like, not even so much the science, but it's because that science can earn so much. You know what I mean? And just taking it so and so and so far can is really also becoming detrimental to our planet itself. Humans do need restraint, but they're, it's not, it's, they can't. They're just like, yo, I can keep creating and creating and creating and it can become crazy. Like, they can keep making insane stuff stuff that we are, don't even know about exists yet you know what i mean like you know some some stuff we've never seen or heard of actually exists right now and it's crazy and some of them is not the end of the world but humans do need restraint when it comes to what they're creating um and what they're allowing to exist in this world and stuff like that 100 percent agree with him with what he's saying so i feel like with someone like senku though they're pretty safe they're pretty safe. I mean, I don't think Senku wants to create stuff that is just going to be detrimental to the world. He's not really an, a person like that that will create things that are not beneficial. You know, he wants to keep creating, so he wouldn't want to destroy the world. So, but anyways, humans need restraint. Sukasa is so right with what he's saying right now. He's not trying to tarnish shit. He wouldn't. He wouldn't, though. Just restraint. Well, you could just say yes and then change your mind and then not do it. Oh, he's not actually going to die, though. You're fine. You don't know how to swim. Oh, they're not actually going to kill him. Oh, they weren't actually going to kill him to begin with. OK, I guess he would die. If it's shallow, he would definitely die. Oh. He's gonna, what the hell? He's gonna ask him to get on that. Oh my god. You're so pretty! <laughs> Look at him! I feel like he's not gonna say it. Ukyo is kinda interesting. I feel like he's not particularly, like, so loyal to Tsukas. I think he really. I think he's like a. I feel like he's like again, like I feel like it's really a matter of what he sees as better. Like I don't think he's particularly, you know, loyal to Tsukasa for any reason. I think he's just. See, 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 see. I think he's intrigued by the science. I think he wants to, I think he's intrigued by the science side. Okay, but the fact that Chrome would have died if Tsukasa did not show mercy, <laughs> like, just saying. He's like, what? It's crazy because the people in Tsukasa army could destroy that in two seconds. <laughs> oh, 
Is that what it, is that what it always looked like? Why is it, it looked so it stood out so much here? Oh, oh! Wait, where is it going though? <laughs> you kind of need to. No, D don't you need to attach stuff to it? <laughs> Go get the thing! <laughs> oh my gosh! Steam gorilla. So here we are again, finally being faced with Tsukasa. <laughs> um, so, Tsukasa has always been a very problem antagonist for me. He's been problematic uh, for my morality and stuff like that. So basically, I had this initial thought where in a world like this and what it's come to, it's true that you can like choose to save whoever the heck you wanted to. Now, I know that morally people will be like, well, you can't pick who lives and who dies. But let's not forget, Tsukasa is not God. He's not any type of superior being or whatnot. He's also another human. So who he decides to save or not, I don't think that's what would make him a good or bad person. You know what I mean? Like, in truth, if you turned a blind eye to everyone, I don't think that's what you can say makes him a bad person either. Morally, it might make him like selfish or, you know, you're supposed to help people like, yeah. But if he didn't and he just lived his life, is he a bad guy? I wouldn't say that. I would say that, well, you know, he's definitely not going to be the hero in, you know, a kid's storybook, that's for sure. But I wouldn't say he's a bad guy. Now, what he's doing that is certainly without a doubt incorrect is deliberately killing these people. Because to this day, these adults and whatnot, they're not dead yet. They're petrified, but they're not dead. If they can be revived, they're not dead. And he has no right to remove that from them while they're defenseless and stuff like that. Like, he doesn't have the right to do that. So that, without a doubt, is completely wrong and he is dead as a murderer right now 100% he's killed so many he is a murderer so I'm not at all rooting for him and I don't think he's right it's not at all he's not right with how he's doing things or how he's decided to do it um, <clears throat> now his ideals his ideal of having a perfect world filled with um, youth that are not yet tainted by greed or tainted by yada 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 I get that. Now, that's not to say that you won't ever find any bad apples in the bunch. I'm sure you will, but I feel like Tsukasa will do, like, deal with that real quick, but that's besides the point. Of course, his ideals about our current world is correct. A lot of the selfishness, a lot of the greed, a lot of the effed up stuff does have to do with where our world has been led today by older, older, older generations. Um, that's still not to say that they don't exist in younger generations, but I still feel like younger generations are exposed to what older generations have provided to us over time. I feel like that does in fact play a huge, huge role. So his idea of having the young kind of grow in a world of none of that, none of that exposure, under his teachings and whatnot, like I, I understand where he's coming from with that idea and how that can refresh the world and restart it anew. Um, I also understand what he's saying about scientific inventions. Humans do need restraint. There is certain things that humans have created that just don't need to be actually created or there's a limit, you know, like the whole 5G thing, for example, like, like even me, I'm just like, man, we're good, like relax. <laughs> It's like there are some things that is just keeps going and keeps going and it's like dang y'all doing the most like i understand you want to evolve you want to see the limits of humanity create crazy 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 things but how about we think of what that's killing and what that's destroying now first and realize if it's worth it it's not i mean all these older people are probably gonna die soon and this is what they're leaving us with you know what i mean they're leaving us to deal with that to fix it and we probably won't be able to and especially when a lot of these businesses, a lot of these really, really rich people are going to hand down companies to their young. And then their young are just going to continue doing their work, you know, because they're provided for. They don't 
really know the other side that a lot of the regular people are living and how the rep like how the repercussions are affecting like regular people you know so it's really messy it's really really messy so what he's saying is correct his methods are not you know do what he's doing in the way that he is it is definitely selfish but the ideal the general ideal that he's searching for i get it and it's quite you know it would feel it would it would it would be really great if that's how things could turn out you know what i mean but this ain't it <laughs> so this is why he's like an antagonist that it's like i can't fully fully just be mad at because it's not like oh he had a trauma in the past and he's seeking revenge or he's Da, 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 da. it's not that much of a selfish goal it is still a goal that he sees and believes is to the benefit of the planet and the world humanity in its entirety so he still is putting those values into account um and it's not just his selfish values you know what i mean like he is taking into account the future as a whole and that's how he sees that he needs to do it uh even though it's not the best that's just how he sees it so this is what i mean by he's not like a your typical like antagonist where you're just like uh, 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 you just want to like cut off and be like psycho mess him up like i don't want him to mess him up but i definitely want him to stop what he's doing and whether he needs to actually repent in some way i don't know i'm not gonna go that far i can't think that far but <laughs> yeah he's in still a uh, somewhat unique antagonist a little bit just a little bit unique but um he's still he's still wrong bottom line him killing all these people is effed up I'll never forget how he like killed the adult and it was just the kid holding on to the hand and those like what are you doing sir <laughs> come on now it's not the way to go about it but anyways guys that is the end of this video leave how you guys feel thoughts down below and I'll see y'all again in my next video so thank you so much and bye